Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah the Break. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasr bin Hamad Al Khalifa, participated in the race against the clock cycling race. His Highness ranked first place in the 28 kilometer long race, clocking 37 minutes and 32 seconds. A large number of competitors took part in the race, which was organized by the Bahrain Cycling Association. His Highness Sheikh Nasr bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed delight at the mass of participations which he said the growing interest of citizens and residents in the sport of cycling in the Kingdom of Bahrain. He said that this or his participation aims to encourage the participants in promoting cycling races in the Kingdom in addition to achieving the same goals that the contestants are keen on which is preparing for the upcoming tournaments. The Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, the SCYS, First Deputy Chairman and Bahrain Olympic Committee, BOC, President His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa thanked His Highness Sheikh Nasr bin Hamad Al Khalifa for his participation in the race. The Arab Parliament, chaired by MP Adil Abdurrahman Al Asumi, praised the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to pan Arab work. This came in the Parliament's inaugural session today of the first session of the third legislative term, which convened in the Egyptian capital, Cairo. Member of the Representatives Council, MP Mamdouh Abbas Al Saleh, and the member of the Arab Parliament said that the efforts of His Majesty the King were highly praised by the Arab Parliament, pointing out that the Arab joint parliamentary work has brought about many positive results over the past period to upgrade Arab legislation aimed at further cementing ties between the Arab countries. As Saleh expressed or stressed that a continuity of the Arab parliamentary work reflects keenness on carrying out the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to serve the nation and citizens. He stressed the ongoing efforts to build strong fraternal parliamentary relations between the Arab countries. In statements on the sidelines of the AP session, they hailed as much the King's support to the Arab Parliament, which they said reflects its active role in supporting cooperation between Arab parliaments. The Leadership Excellence for Women Award and Symposium LEWAS 2020 concluded with more than 1,100 participants from oil and gas, chemical, academic, healthcare, utilities, construction and many more diverse sectors from 57 countries around the world. The Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, confirmed that the advanced level of women in the Kingdom of Bahrain stems from the support of the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, which has paved the way for Bahraini women to assert their merit in holding the highest positions in various sectors, including oil and gas. He praised the fruitful and constructive participation of the forum's work in the topics related to women leaders in the energy sector and the efforts of the organizing committee to achieve the aspirations and objectives of the forum to enhance a woman's leadership abilities, praising the high capabilities of Bahraini women in leadership, management and strategic planning. He pointed out that the forum was an opportunity to discuss and study the situation of the oil and gas sector and its future in light of the spread of the coronavirus pandemic. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 2,841 with, recover with recoveries, 240 registered new cases and 405 recoveries. 61 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 169 are contacts of active cases and 10 are travel related. The Ministry announced two deaths, a 60-year-old male citizen and a 68-year-old female citizen due to COVID-19. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.